the National Transportation Safety Board. Uh, we have a, a, one of our producers, Adam Reese, is on the scene uh, with us. Adam, what are you seeing? Where are you? Well, if I'm just on shore, just south of 42nd Street, approximately 39th Street, we're indoors. Most of the passengers are in here. It's a multi-agency rescue, police, fire, EMS. Everybody seems to be doing okay, at least those passengers that have made it inside. And speaking to some of the passengers inside here, they think everyone did get off. Really? They, were, they had left uh, New York's uh, LaGuardia Airport, and shortly after departing, they, uh, some passengers said they heard a loud bang, and then the, uh, the cockpit and the uh, fuselage uh, became quite smoky. I'm with Alberto Pinero. He was on the plane, and Wolf, I'm going to let you speak to him and, and get a little more about what exactly happened. All right. Uh, 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 Alberto, uh, are you there? Can you hear me okay? Yes, I can hear you. All right, tell us, walk us through from the beginning what happened. Uh, you were taking off from LaGuardia. This is U.S. Air, flight 1549 from New York to Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, we're told about 135 people on board, including crew and passengers, an Airbus A320. Uh, all right, so you take off from LaGuardia, then what happens? I mean, uh, within, within a couple of minutes, um, all of a sudden you just heard a loud bang. Uh, and the plane shook a bit, and immediately the, you know, the you could smell like smoke, like fire, and um, immediately the plane basically just started turning in another direction. Although it didn't seem like it was out of control, we knew something was going on because like we were turning back, and um, you know, nothing was happening. The smoke was still—you could still smell it. No, no one knew what was going on. All of a sudden, the captain came on and said. Um, uh, embrace for impact, and that's when we knew we were going down, and, and it seemed like into the water, and um, and and we just and we just hit, and somehow the the plane you know stayed afloat, and we all were able to get get on the raft, and um, I, it's just incredible right now that everybody's still alive. <laughs> uh, Al Alberto, uh, tell which which exits. From the aircraft, from this A320, did you manage to escape from? Well, initially I went uh, to the one that was right in front of me, but it was full right on the wing. So I actually entered the plane back and went to the front where there was a, a, a craft uh, of, of one of those boats that I was able to, um, you know, just sit in there and, you know, start helping people out, get people on, and a lady with, you know, with a gas to help her out and stuff like that. So in other words, those boats managed to get right up to the door, right up to the exit, and you could just literally, in effect, jump off the plane onto one of those boats. You never had yeah. to really go into the water. No, no. Some people were on the wing, and they had to wait there. Uh, but, you know, most of the people were able to get on the raft. And, and, and you, but you say, based on what you saw, were you, you one of the first people off or one of the last? No, I was, I was in the middle. Uh, do you, and you, you think that everybody managed to escape? I'm pretty sure that everybody got off, yeah. And, and everybody, uh, they got onto one of those boats, and they were taken to one of these buildings near 42nd Street, where you are right now in Manhattan. Is that right? Yes, yes. We, they have, uh, everybody's here, you know, just trying to get everything situated. Um, thank God. I mean, everybody pretty much is okay. It's, it's um, I, I don't even know how to put it in words right now. <laughs> well, thank God for that. Were there, yeah. there I assume there were, you know, it's a regular... Uh, a list of passengers, including a lot of children. Uh, is that true? Were there little children, elderly? Yeah, there was both, but uh, I'm pretty sure both of them were able to get um, back on the raft, thankfully. And, and get out. So, so as we're looking at this picture of this U.S. Airways A320 uh, in the middle of the Hudson River over there, surrounded by boats, it seems to be sinking as we speak right now. It's unclear... Uh, uh, you know, if it's sinking that, all that rapidly. But what, uh, what you're saying, uh, Alberto, is that you believe everyone managed to exit the plane safely, to get on boats, and, and, uh, and, and that plane right now, we, we can only hope and pray, is totally empty. Is that right? Yes, yes. Uh, um, you know, I can't say 100%, but I'm pretty sure everybody managed to get off um, into one of the vessels or eventually pretty sure everybody's back already. Did, when you escaped from the plane, uh, did the flight attendants and the pilots tell you to put on those life, those vests uh, that, you know, you always hear yeah, about it before people, you, you take off about the emergency procedures. Uh, you hope you never have to use them. 
Yeah, I actually grabbed uh, one of the seats. That was the first thing that came to my mind, just grabbing one of the seats and using that. Um, some people grab the yellow, uh, you know, the inflatable ones. Other people grab the seats. But um, it seemed like immediately there was boats coming towards us, and they threw more of the orange black jackets at us and, you know, and helped us uh, to get to uh, safety. And uh, was it pretty orderly, or was there pretty much of a panic as everyone uh, tried to escape? Um, at first, it was a little bit of a panic, but I, there was a couple of people who just uh, kind of took charge and just started yelling to calm down and, you know, to just to get everybody out. And once, once I think people realized that we were going to be okay, everybody kind of calmed out and just tried to get outside of the boat and, you know, get to safety. Once, you know, when you, I mean, just after the impact alone, it seemed like, you know, it, it, it felt just like a, a car crash, you know, with the same thing, with the impact, and then all of a sudden, it, it was just get out and get out now.